dude. What the fuck? That looks okay, so my, good. My lashes are blue too. That looks so powder. fucking good. Thank you. You know how to accentuate your eyes. Thank you so much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Shower, and I'm joined once more by. Hi guys. Uh, Brittany Brittany Brittany. <laughs> and so we're gonna do another episode of Zillow Gone Wild. Um, Brittany does have one coming up on her channel. So yes. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> and Courtney's editing it. Yeah. Hey, so Courtney. Stanley, we're giving you a break. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Stanley. This is gonna be an episode of Zillow Gone Wild. There's no theme to it other than these are the most recent Zillow posts. Thank you, Samir, for collecting all of this. So we're gonna start with house number one. Oh, which you didn't share it with me. I did share it with you. Oh, when? Oh, just now. Oh my God. Wait, let me drink some water. I had just, ah, my funny bone. It just, now I feel like funny. Get it together. Let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is Cerebral. Cerebral is an online mental health service that provides access to medication management, counseling, and therapy for depression, anxiety, insomnia, and other conditions, all for a flat monthly rate. Treatment for ADHD, bipolar, and PTSD are available in certain states, though. What I do love about Cerebral is the online convenience and privacy. They actually do have an app in the App Store or the Google Store if you have an Android. And with that app, you can message your care team at any time, so it's like they're always in your pocket. A little tiny baby counselor, a little tiny baby therapist. Mm -hmm and they're helping you with your mental health. And Cerebral also has cognitive behavioral therapy exercises on the app so you can get care in between your sessions. Cerebral provides comprehensive care so they can help you through major life events and stress, you know, like grief, trauma, family issues. I definitely have talked to my care counselor about my parents being a wee bit homophobic from time to time. Ooh, you suck. And truthfully, that has helped a lot. Um, I feel like someone is on my side. And Cerebral is also super affordable. You can get it with or without insurance. But I do know that Cerebral is in network for some insurers. Cerebral can cost up to three times less than traditional therapeutic services, especially if you don't have insurance. It's all for a flat monthly rate at an affordable price. That being said, this is how you get started with Cerebral. Start by filling out a short form online, answering a few questions to help Cerebral understand your symptoms. From there, you can choose to subscribe to one of three different membership options based on your needs and budget. If you'd like to take the next step working on your mental health, visit the link in my description, fill out the questionnaire, and get connected with a provider right away. The first month starts at only $30. All right, we're going to Memphis, Tennessee. The motherland. If your home doesn't have this feature, then don't ever think about inviting me over 589,000 six bedrooms, four baths. The That's outside nice. is nice. Yeah. I would love that. Inside is nice as well. Yeah. I really like the rock wall yeah. above the fireplace this one of those homes if you're gonna do all white make it tasteful this is tasteful there's something gonna be weirdly wrong with this mm -hmm. i love the ki in the kitchen oh oh delta sky priority mm -hmm. this is okay you know like a couple like <laughs> months ago we were like this is an airport this is literally an airport where the fuck did they get these i don't know do you think that like a like a regional airport was like liquidating like their like seats and they just gave it up imagine you just want to like kick back and relax you have to pay like two dollars yeah for like a woman to come in and give you like a small mixed drink yeah a watered down coca-cola <laughs> yes. over ice a lukewarm coca-cola over and ice and she like shakes your chair to like <laughs> mimic turbulence and you're like god this is great i love being priority this is giving like people who were a diamond medallion during the pandemic and just mm -hmm. wanted to fly so fucking bad. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they put a flight simulator, <laughs> but not a pilot simulator, a passenger simulator <laughs> yes. in their home. Did they steal these priority signs from the airport? They might have. You know that thing of where like someone steals a stop sign? Like stop sign? Yeah. Imagine like walking through the airport and you see someone just like running with the priority baggage. Ma'am, stop. Okay, well, I mean. They're running too fast. <laughs> they are a priority member. They are. Yeah. And then the rest of the house is just normal. So they're just diamond medallion members is really what we've gathered. They want to rub it in. I feel like um, all of their um, family members like fly like, you know, like coach. Yeah. And they just like, whenever they invite them over, they're like, this is like their fancy room. I want you to realize that I'm first class. Yes. And I want you to experience how I travel because you're poor. This is what you'll never feel. Yes. And then you just sit down in front of them and they have to like wait to board. And then there's like <laughs> active duty military and like people yeah. just like walking through their home. Yep. Once again, what is your story? Yeah, they have to give like, Azilla has to now give like a backstory on the people who own this house. Yeah. But we are moving along to house number two. This is a nightmare. This looks oh. like Angelica from the Rugrats. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Seattle, Washington. Everyone loves it, like loves the Seattle home. 478,000, three bedrooms, one bath. When people <laughs> color their homes this way on the outside, it's like, what do you want? What are you trying to achieve here? Yeah, what are you like? You want attention so bad. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Your mother-in-law is on the HOA board. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck you, Helen. Yes. The inside is like a hypnosis. Trippy. Yeah. It's a little fucking trippy. <laughs> <laughs> they should have just like mirrors all over the, the walls. <laughs> but like fun town mirrors. There's like no place that you can look to like relax. You're like, God, <laughs> God me. And then 
Ah, uh, yes. Green. Awful color scheme, as per usual. <gasps> the ceiling. Is that is that power tools? On the ceiling? Or are they water guns? I think they might be water guns. And then like, it's board games on the- Okay, wait, actually? <gasps> the board game ceiling's cute. This is kind of cool. Okay, so you know like how a lot of like college houses have like, you know, empty liquor bottles at the top? <laughs> they just taped water guns? Yeah, yeah, they just retired their guns. The globe and the Christmas star are kind of throwing me off. What are you looking at? Globe and the Christmas star. Oh, the actual globe on the ceiling. Like glued to the ceiling? That is throwing me off, I this can't is, lie. This is what, like, one of those like trick houses where like you the everything is like shifted and like you film yourself like walking and it's like yeah. the table yeah everything looks really small or really big yeah i do want to know who lived here because i kind of want to be their best friend oh monkey bathroom monkey don't monkey around where's the sink <laughs> the monkey grasping the fucking quilted northern roll <laughs> yes. give me my toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> you're like dripping wet like <laughs> You're tripping. You're dripping. No, tripping both, wet. Both. You're <gasps> tripping balls and dripping piss out of your wuss. I the am... monkey has the toilet paper. <laughs> Why is the mirror, the second mirror, so high up on the ceiling? Oh god. They have like a seven foot tall cousin. Yeah. You know he played football. This is like in college. <laughs> you make someone acid trip and then you put them in this home and then they call their friend asking for help and they literally their friend just doesn't believe it. You're just tripping. <laughs> the monkeys are on the roof. The monkey has the fucking toilet paper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't feel it. I know, but I I saw it. Okay, I'm sorry. It's solid. I had to I had a crunch bar. <laughs> <laughs> what is this space? It's like a asylum with a exposed brick fireplace. Chimney, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a. It must be a dance hall. Yeah, but the bar is right behind the fucking like the <laughs> fireplace. I imagine someone's doing a plie. Is like oh ow oh my knee ow like I can't really actually stretch. And also the bar. <laughs> The bar is uh, to the right of the mirror, so you can't even check your form as you're hitting your knee against the back yeah. wall. I feel like this is a dancer's nightmare, and then just a tripper, someone who trips like their nightmare. Is it a tripper or like a acid head? I've no, never I think taken. It's acid. called Grateful Dead. Oh, <laughs> Grateful Head. <laughs> dead head. Yes, dead head. Have you ever taken acid? Mm mm. Me neither. I would kill myself. I'm scared. I would tweet something weird. I, that's the worst of your fears? Yeah. I think I would. Well, you know, they always talk about um, shrooms, like your ego death. Yeah. I would like to have that. I would like to have a moment because I get little like, I edge myself with little like, life is so beautiful. Yeah. And I want to go full blown, you know, mm -hmm. like shroom trip. Oh my God, life is so fragile and beautiful. We just need to love each other. Yeah. Uh, but I think acid is like, oh, I want to die. <laughs> I think help me, help. <laughs> I think it's like the thing where like it go like could go like one of two ways where like uh -huh. it's either like great or like fucking horrible. And I think it would be horrible for me. For yeah, for us to be like fucking horrible. <laughs> if we did it together, <laughs> yes. one of us is dead. We're, one of them is supposed to be the babysitter, and we're just like equally incapacitated. <laughs> There's no chance. We're like rolling down a hill somewhere, like covered in leaves. Help me! I can't. <laughs> you help me. We're like we ho. <laughs> We roll onto like sunset. Where are we? Saddle ranch. Yes. Tripping acid at saddle ranch. Oh, thank God, this is grounding. <laughs> <laughs> saddle ranch. Moving on to the next house. This one is in Spinoki, Washington. Sp Sp Spokane. 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 Spinoki. Spinoki. It looks like Pinocchio. Affectionately. <laughs> it looks like Pinocchio on the outside. Mm -hmm. It says, here's a fun home. Um, currently listed at 700, 475,000, four bedrooms, four baths. It looks like a. Um, like Jack and Jill went up the hill to go into this house to view it. It is a little German fairy tale yeah. house. Is this crumbs all over the floor? Except the Lord giveth and taketh away. <laughs> Very odd Bible verse <laughs> to have in the house. It's like, and God gave his only son so yeah. you may be free. <laughs> That's the first thing that you see. The Lord giveth <laughs> and he shall taketh away, you fucking bastard. So don't go under on your offer because <laughs> the Lord is always watching. The realtor put that in there. Yes. Oh, wow. Mm. Actually, I like that. Oh, this is not giving me the tingles. This gives me a twang. Ew, what the cabinets. Is... Are those... What's going on? Tile? And then there's the art pieces everywhere. Okay, so tell yeah. me, you have the Bible verse in the beginning of your house, but if you zoom in on the right in the kitchen, there's nudes. Yeah, that's Picasso. These are all like cubism, impressionism. So what's happening? What do you believe? Oh, he's an art lover. He's an art lover, but also a Christian. It's like my parents with like Christian scientists. Yeah. Where they believe in evolution, but they also believe that gay people shouldn't go to heaven. And their home manif manifests both. Yes. With their stockpiling, but then also I'm sure you have Christian memorabilia mm -hmm. around the we house. We have um, the bunker, but then they also have pictures of dinosaurs. 
I'm like, so you believe that the rapture is coming and the dinosaurs existed? And we came from dinosaurs. Yeah. And there's gonna be people in the comments like, can you explain that? And I'll be like, nope. <laughs> Not at all. Um, this is giving, oh my fucking god, I love art, but I don't know how to decorate. <gasps> The next, this is a, wait, this reminds me of That's Lego. Crazy. This is actually fucking cool as shit. This is an artistic Christian. It kind of is, and I'm loving the tile in the mirror, but it's yeah. just a little, like, they had a vision and couldn't really I think execute. it's, for me personally, it's just so specific. But this next room is hideous. The faded rug, <sighs> and then they're just like, okay, there's a, there's a, a fake house sitting on like a church, like Sunday school table. Oh, a little miniature. Yeah. Oh, this dude is an artist. Delightfully disturbed. And then the ceiling is just covered in these, like, anemones. I can't believe I said that right the first time. I want to know what stays and what goes. You know, because I imagine the tiles on the wall would stay. Mm -hmm. But what, what art would leave? <gasps> I love this room. I love that. It just looks like a Lego setup. The backsplash is cool. The wallpaper is cool. Um, so many this... Is the Sagrada Familia in Spain, and a lot of this tile work is called Tricandis, and it's a Spanish style of tile work. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? He is truly an art lover. Aren't you an art history major, or like you were? I just love it. Okay. I just, I don't get it. It's kind of making me feel weird. Like, no, we didn't record. You're kidding. The whole time? We didn't record. Okay, guys, we didn't record that, but we're gonna keep going. Courtney, I'm so sorry. That is recording. This is not recording. It's gonna be hollow and echoey. It's okay. Wait. Just for that one or the whole time? The entire time. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, but we have the majority of this to go through still. You guys did not come here for quality. You came here for quantity and us. Yeah, and our white legs. Well, you're the only one. Well, assume that Sarah's legs are white. With your pubic hair that goes down to your knees. All right. <laughs> oh my God, are you waiting reverse shin guards? <laughs> Side guards? <laughs> <Did> you... <laughs> are you bracing for the winter? <laughs> yes. No, you, I can't even notice anything. I told you not to look. I'm not. You looked. I'm not looking. I'm sorry, guys. Of Courtney, I'm sorry about the audio. We'll just add captions. It's totally fine. I was like, why is that green for so long? <laughs> you looking down and being like, this is that color of green. <laughs> it's not right. I'll ignore it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish the video, then I'll take a look at that. Yes. All right, our next house is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This $1.3 million home is right. a lifestyle for sure. Three bedrooms, five baths. It looks nice from the outside. I wouldn't say it's worth $1.3 I wouldn't either, and it also says trigger warning Natali. Natali? What does that mean? Type of pasta. <gasps> trigger warning Italians. <laughs> trigger warning. Italians beware. Well, it looks kind of Italian on the inside. Again, what we were talking about with the low ass ceilings immediately yeah. is less luxurious. It really does make it like, and it's like popcorn, low ceiling. And that's popcorn, yeah. but like stucco, low ceilings. Old folks home. Yeah. Old folks home. Like a mortuary. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the seating area where you go to like check in on your grandpa once his makeup has been finished. Yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, the mirror. interesting. Oh, they're having some kinky sex in this ugly bedroom. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Why that? Why like the expensive furniture? You know, this furniture is antique, vintage, expensive. And you're going to put a, a, put a, a fucking blanket from TJ Maxx as your comforter. I know that that blanket is so trashy like why and these I'm, pillows i mean like it's not trashy but like it doesn't belong in this room you have like mahogany going up the wall right and you've got like the the college dorm set from target no literally that's what it is <laughs> yes. oh baby's first king bed yes. um, <laughs> baby's first smoker lounge <laughs> Oh no, this reminds me of like Hugh Hefner. Like you ever watch like the yeah. Playboy series where like there's all the girls like laying on the bed and he's just like, girls come over here. And they're But if he like, was poor and shopped at TJ Maxx. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking bathroom is insane. Oh I like that a lot. Ooh. I love the tub. If you pee in it, you can't even tell. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the water's so golden. Yeah, it's it was like that because the tub color. Yes, the reflection. <laughs> so rich. Oh, the crowded ass gym. How many people are in your family working out? This is where all the Playboy bunnies go to work out. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think it's the mirrors that make it seem like there's so many. Um, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the elliptical can't even turn all the way because it keeps hitting the other elliptical. <laughs> it keeps Whoa. cracking the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, get off. <laughs> We're on house number six. It's at Big Bear Lake, California. You've been there, right? Yeah, I went to a place called... Um, Idle, idle wild mm -hmm. because big bear was really expensive <laughs> if saved by the bell and your old trapper keeper what's a trapper keeper couldn't tell you had a baby this would be four hundred fifty thousand. Two two bedrooms two baths it's a duplex it looks no <gasps> <gasps> Ew! Ew! 
What the? What the fuck? <laughs> yes. You come home after a long day of skiing or snowboarding, just absolutely creep the fuck out. Slay. This is a like this. this is like Johnny Birch Told's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I imagine Johnny Birch Told's house looks like. <laughs> Insert a picture of him. Yeah. But this is like it's oh wait, I kinda like this. I like no, how consistent they are. Like it slays. Like they're a horror enthusiast. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And then in the closet there's just is it Annabelle? Little Shelby's Annabelle. Wife. I, I just imagined like my family like wants to rent like a really nice cabin in the woods when we go to Big Bear. And they're like, This super, is the only one available. They're like, Annabelle. <laughs> Wait, if this was a B and B, oh my god, and I walked in. Yeah, I'd be uh, scared shitless. You they show, show up at night. literally they show all the pictures that are like, oh, it's like a horror house. How cute. And mm-hmm. then that bitch is just in the closet. <laughs> like, absolutely not. That's the landlord. <laughs> I fucking love this room. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Friends don't lie. Is that a quote from a horror movie? Friends. Friends don't lie. I love the fucking tiny ass arcade. Oh, There's just three games. Look, the lights on the ceiling. Dude, you utilize a closet space so fucking well. And yeah. then like the, the stranger, um, every older person who's like, was raised in the 70s or 80s is like the older people like telephone, <laughs> but like the actual telephone on the wall. Yeah. I imagine like, you know, like, hello, who is this? You're outside my home. Oh God. Do I look good? Do I look thin? <laughs> Your side profile is unholy. <laughs> this is so well done <gasps> actually. They have the entire Stranger Things thing. This is so well done. Dude, I love this so much. Except that bathroom is kind of hodgepodge. It's fine. Mm, it's boring. I like this a lot. I would just, the only thing is if I bought it, I'd have to buy all the furniture as well. Everything would have to come as is. That's the thing is like, you better leave all this shit in there. And yeah. you know, they probably spent so much money curating this experience. Mm-hmm. I love this house. Who the fuck listed that on Dilligon Wild? Now we're in Ventura, California. All um, right. The perfect home doesn't exist. Uh, 975,000, four bedrooms, two baths. Okay, it's not that bad on the inside. It just looks like an average home. I like the fireplace a lot. Yeah. The carpet on carpet seems kind of unused. Yeah. I feel like there's like a big stain that they're covering up. Yeah. Big uh, murder scene. Oh, I love the bedroom. I'm getting nervous. What's wrong with it? Oh. That's, <laughs> it's just Jeff. If you could have any male celebrity on your shower curtain, who would you pick? You start. You would pick Chris Angel. I would pick, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, probably. Chris Angel themed bathroom. <laughs> yes. The walls are black. <laughs> my shit, now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> You don't even have to flush in my room. The poop just appears in my sink. <laughs> Is this your poop? Chris! Every time you flush, <laughs> my break! <Yeah. laughs> I want a Robert Pattinson themed bathroom. Really? A like, Twilight themed bathroom. That'd actually be kind of like fucking cool. Like the just Twilight aesthetic or like the Twilight the movie? No, like I want Robert Pattinson's face on everything. Okay. Hand towels, shower curtain, toilet paper. You have like that toilet cover, like the carpet toilet cover. It's just like a yarn. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Crocheted. <laughs> Where you like and like switch his face around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sequence yes. on the other side. <laughs> now we're in Los Angeles, California. We could visit this house. It's $11 million. Four bedrooms, six baths. $11 million. This looks like the um, like a college dorm. Like the outside. Yeah. This is hideous. Oh. oh this this is looks so like a fucking annoying rich person. It really does. It's so trashy and cold. I can't imagine anyone comes home to this and they're like, I feel so comfortable. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> that looks so fucking fun! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, but imagine if your grandpa passed away and you were in this room like, what? He succumbed. Oh no, his heart gave out. Fuck. And then he like turned the lights off. I mean, that could happen really anywhere. <laughs> I know. Thankfully, all my grandparents are dead. There is a stripper pole. <laughs> there is a stripper pole. <laughs> you fall down the stairs. And then there's a, is oh that, my is God. It a bed behind the stripper pole? No, it's a hot tub. Is it? <gasps> oh my God. Wait, Dude. yep. That is a bed that as well. That is a bed. Is the entire basement just cleared out? What okay. the fuck? Oh, this is like a... Wait, this is actually really smart if you're like a partier. Yeah. This is just where the party happens. I know, but imagine, I mean, I guess like having like a sort of like sex party dungeon and then like there's just one bed. Yeah, this is just for people to dance and fuck and be in the hot tub. <gasps> Calling all gay people. What the fuck is that? That's- These fucking nudies on the ceiling and on the wall. That is so, this is definitely just like a club. It is, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> this is, he was like, what if the club Never close. Oh, yes. We put the club in <laughs> our house. Yes. It smells like cheap perfume and cigarettes in here. You had a contact high from doing a viewing. <laughs> God. Oh my God. I would love to live here. See what else is eye twitching a little bit? <laughs> That's 
cool. Yeah. It poker looks, room. I know it's definitely dirty, though. I know this fucking room is so dirty. Probably not. They probably have a cleaning service. Mm. They're so rich. They have a club in their house. <gasps> Communal shower. Who dropped the soap? They have, like, different, like, DJs for each room. <laughs> DJ bathroom. Coming at you do, live. Do, 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 DJ bathroom. Oh, and then there's, like, a workout area. Get a little pump going after you've sucked, fucked, <laughs> drunk, played poker. Lost all your fluids. <laughs> oh, and I like the roof a lot. Look at that view, dude. That is so nice. <laughs> this is a family of 17 gay men. If you just took out, like, the foyer pictures, I feel like this would be called Club Jizz. Planet Jizz. <laughs> Like Pizza Planet, Jizz Planet. <laughs> There's like straight women like having their bachelorette party with like their cowboy hats. Yeah. Woo! Pussy Planet. <laughs> we see Trixie doing a drag show in this. <laughs> Does the house come with an MDMA subscription? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like how you have like utilities where it's like electrical, water, MDMA. <laughs> You have to pay the city for all your fucking drugs. Oh all right, well, after all that shit talking, I would like to be invited. So whoever owns this, well, I guess they're selling it. Yeah, we could go look at it. Let's do a viewing. Let's tour it. So now we're at house number 10, which is Lutz, Florida. Nuts, Florida. <laughs> the iconic home from Edward Scissorhands, <gasps> AKA the Boggs house. Oh, they really ran with the Ezra, Edward yeah, Scissorhands. They, really, they said, in case you didn't know. Yeah, the tour stopped coming. Here. Yep. It's I, kind of really fucking hideous. Wait, Courtney, can you do a side by side if this is the same like interior from the Edward Scissorhands movie? Yeah, so or us, is it just the outside? Yeah, like us viewing this, is it decorated it the same way that the Ed Edward Scissorhands like movie is? What was? Have you ever seen that movie? Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. What was his deal? He just didn't have fingers. Yeah, he just scissor hands, and he like falls in love. <laughs> yeah, imagine he's really great with like cutting the cord he's like a baby. He can't handle the baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at chopping vegetables, yes. cutting umbilical cords. Yes. Oh, I love the t-shirts on the wall. How wonderfully ugly. This is just terrible. This is like your first house when you get out of college. Everything's just Mod Podge. Donated. Donated. And they have a Christmas tree in the corner. Yeah. It is April. Thank God it's purple and has butterflies on it. Look at all of this Edward Scissorhands merchandise on the wall. I know. We get it. Edward was here. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> right next to the crucifix. <laughs> and then the purple... Okay, dude, purple is the color that I do not like at all. Like, I feel like it's so polarizing. Everyone loves purple, like fucking loves purple or hates it. Do you like it? I like purple. Oh. Ugh. You're, uh, you love red, though. I love red. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they make purple. And that's our fucking podcast. And that is why you should listen to yeah. Violating, Violating Community, community guidelines. guidelines. This is such an ugly house. I think yeah. that people would buy it for the novelty, you know? Buy it and strip it. Mm -hmm. I want you to burn the inside. They really ran with the scissors here. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like, you know, like when you have a big day and you just... <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Well, this has been uh, another episode of Zilla Gone Wild. I feel like the audio is going to be super choppy in the beginning. Yeah, don't fucking complain. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's... Oh my God. But it is. Yeah, We really is. appreciate you guys. Yeah, you guys really, like, actually really support our lifestyle. Please like this video. Mm -hmm. And we will do better. But Brittany has done better on their channel at the end of April, probably, or May, whatever. <laughs> Zilla Gone Wild episode. Yeah. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and I will we will see you in the next one. Me when I'm Ezra, Edward Scissor Hands. Can you Scissoring? Do this? Me when I'm me when I'm Edward Scissoring. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh Edward. <laughs> All right. Bye guys. Hey. Bye.